I'm Ang. I'm 26. And I'm Grace. I'm Max's little sister, and I'm 22. My sister and I are going on a road trip for two weeks to Queenstown. I think in the past there has definitely been a stereotype of what the typical lifestyle for someone with Down syndrome should be. Yeah, easy. On this trip, it's a chance for Max to showcase the independence that he has now. Yeah, he's going to be having a lot of fun. My name is Max Cuttle. I live in Woodford, my family. Sweet, Maxie. Let's do some planning, eh? Mm-hmm. Grace is younger sister. Grace is nice. We are going on uh, road trip. Do you remember where we're going to start from in the South Island? Johnson. Nice, yeah. So what are we going to do here? We're going to take the... Ferry. Nice. We're going to land in Picton. Yeah. The main things with the road trip that really motivated us to get this going, I really wanted to give Max and I a, a new challenge. We both did. We wanted to put our, our epic relationship to the test and see what we could kind of do. And then I think the best place after the West Coast that you're most excited for is where? Queenstown. Oh, yeah. Max is both my little and big bro. 100% he's my big brother first and foremost. Uh, he's always there for a supportive hug. Not so much a chat, obviously. Maxie's not the, the chattiest bloke on the block, but that's not what I desire out of our relationship anyway. What are we going to do in Queenstown? Uh, gluge. The gluge? The luge? <laughs> I think I can spend an hour with Max and I will always come out feeling happier and more myself. Yeah. OK, who's driving? You. Yeah, OK. <laughs> you don't want to drive? Mm, no? Mm, not me. Not you. Just you. Just me, OK. The little brother aspect, though, I mean, obviously, there's that unique aspect to Max's and my relationship, which does mean I'm a a big sister in a practical sense sometimes. Basically, it just means that the kind of stuff you would normally depend on your older sibling to take care of, I, I do instead. But that's why we're putting our relationship to this next level. We are having family dinner tonight. Cheers. Cheers. So good to see you. God, it's funny, I would just go for weeks. We are at the Castle Clan, the Castle Bunch, lots of energy. Definitely got a rep for being a bit of a crazy fan, but also the best. Dad fix the game. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Helen and I have been married for 30 years now. We've got three children who are all quite, uh, quite different in their own ways. There's Sophie, the eldest, who's very creative and there's Grace, who's very focused on her degree, but also all sorts of extracurricular activities. And then there's, there's Max, of course. He's a joy to have around. Time to eat, guys. I'll join my usual role. I'll do that. Mum, is it Kimi? Maddie, can I serve you? Yeah. We live here on our lifestyle property, and the kids have had a chance to sort of see what country living is a little bit like. Oh, do you want a couple more potatoes, Max? Max and I, I think our bond with each other is closer than any other bond either of us have with anyone. That's why I'm so excited for this road trip. I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else, I don't think. I was so excited for Max and Grace. I just thought it was going to be, like, the coolest experience, and I knew that they'd be able to hook up all the, all the sweet, like, destinations and go to all the coolest places, and they'll be getting to have some serious bonding time. Yep, we'll build up some great memories together. What an opportunity for Grace and Max to, you know, connect and just have time together for them to see 
a lot of New Zealand and to learn stuff along the way. Yep. Your hair? Yeah. <laughs> what had you done to it? Spike. When Max was a baby and when he was first born and when he turned up and we had this baby that we didn't really expect. He was so cute. He was so... I, I wish sometimes that I'd been more focused on how awesomely cute he was and not, not all the conditions that came with, with Down syndrome. Rusty and Bonnie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's that? It's Grace. Yeah. Well, kind of. Going right back to when they were really, really little and Max was the elder brother. And it was very clear because she was learning from him. And that continued for some time, but it wasn't long before Grace overtook him, really. That didn't detract from that lovely relationship of big brother and, and little sister and, and, you know, just that he had this person that he was able to sort of mentor or look after to a certain extent. I do chores around the house. I do vacuuming. Max, as a 26-year-old, is like any other 26-year-old young man. I think that there's a part of Max that would like to be not living at home with his parents. This trip to the South Island that Grace and Max are going to do is, is a really good example of independence for Max, is being able to take challenges that any person would face and go with it and deal with it. We have to be realistic about independence for Max. Right now, Helen and I have got the challenge of where he goes to next and how he can live a full life without relying too much on mum and dad. That's, that's what we've got to think through now. I love building in my shed. I do sending and this is my favourite tool. The carpentry, yeah, he just, he, he loves to get into that. And he's really at a point now where he recognises what tools are required and what the, the general process is to do a job. I made coasters with Dad. What do you think? We'll get a few out of there, eh? When we're building, we'll work together. You know, mark out things, measure things carefully, and wherever possible, get, get Max to do it. So, Maxie, excited? Yeah, yeah. You're going to go to a few of the places that you've been to before. Yeah. But it's going to be neat. In this case, you know, you're going to have to get things ready with Grace. Yeah. Wherever you stop, wherever you bivouac. Yeah. Yeah. Grace does her best to bring the best out of Max. But it's not all a, all a fairy tale. It could go pear-shaped. If it is a challenge, they're going to have to sort it out. So this is really, really exciting, what you guys are doing. <laughs> but I am worried. If you go somewhere and you leave him or send him somewhere to do something, like pick something up and you're driving. I mean, it just could possibly be that he doesn't come back. Yeah, as a mum, I, I am very nervous. I think that Grace is going to learn that there are some challenges that we face as his parents that she doesn't realise right now. We don't want Grace doing all the tasks. Yeah, and, and that's the point of this trip, is to, is to, you know, encourage both mine and Max's independence. So yeah. I will definitely do my best to delegate and make, make sure that I'm not doing all the cooking and cleaning. I think they'll work together really well to make this trip a success. What are you going to do about the toilet? So, <laughs> that's a great question. I go to 
will live in to, to build. Yeah, 40 bits. Hi. Hi. Real World Living is a collection of day programs for disabled within community. So we cater to everybody and anybody really who wants to come and join our little happy crew. Beautiful. What do you reckon? Yeah. Sort of, day. Look good. Very good job, my friend. Max does everything. Whether it's from the cutting the boards up to start with, the screwing together, the sanding. Anything we do here, Max is involved in it from start to finish. Remember to clean the brush out of that's the one, and just nice long strokes, eh, and get it all on there. Max is very meticulous yeah, in everything he does. Yep, yep. now that's good, man. It's very, very good. His dad has done an amazing job with him, teaching him those, those little bits and pieces that he brings to our workshop. He's a good lad. He's enjoyable to have around too, I must say. Two, one. There we go. <laughs> Next. <laughs> What's happening today? Uh, here. Yeah, what are we doing? Uh, ball. Yeah, we're having a ball. <laughs> I work for Recreate New Zealand and the ball is a collaboration with the Auckland Down Syndrome Association. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, can we put that on this table? Recreate is an organisation started bordering on 20 years ago now. We organise programmes for youth with disabilities, access needs. And we need two on that side down there. In my role at Recreate, I coordinate the programmes, I get the crew along, make sure that we've got an amazing bunch who are all enjoying themselves from the age of 11 up. Boom, 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 boom. Maxi and Dad as well came through to help set up. Hey. So oh, we need you, Dad. Right. We need you. Yeah, they're, they're just awesome the way they get behind um, this job. Ready? Cactus? Yeah, I like a cactus. <laughs> Ready? Let's go. We went with the Hollywood theme because they just absolutely adore a good boogie, a good dance, and getting dressed up for the days. Champion. <laughs> oh. There you go, you slick dude. All righty, we better do you out because Laura's inside now, so yep. we better make sure. Tonight. I'm going to the ball with Laura, my girlfriend. Laura's a beauty. I am wearing day suit and top hat. Looks so like has a max. Yeah. And so depth here. I like it. Just where you are. You dog. Lovely. I like it, Max. Max and Laura have known each other really since babies. And sort of were just friends. And then in their teens, they really got a lot closer and realised that they had a special bond. And we're going to dance tonight. Just yeah. me and you. Laura does pretty much all of the talking for the two of them. Oh, I think Max can certainly make his feelings known and he's he's no pushover, but he's pretty happy with Laura making the calls on <laughs> on what they do. I am looking forward to the ball. It was so amazing seeing them come off the bus and walking up the red carpet. Yeah, the, the mood here is just infectious. Who's ready to have a good night? <laughs> you should be. It's going to be so fun. So we'll have some yummy food, and then after dinner, we'll get lots of photos at the cool photo drops with Ollie. It's going good. Uh, everyone's just sitting down for dinner now, so very, very happy. 
Maxie and Maury, they are just the strongest bond. They've been together forever and yeah, having nights like this, they really just get to enjoy each other's company. School is heaps of fun. Maxie, he's in his happy place and I definitely hope to spend some good time with the bro tonight and Maury as well and just see them taking it all in and dancing like the kings and queens they are. Grace and I are begging for the trip. OK, cool, bro. So we've got our list. What's this one here? Three shots. Yes, yeah, sweet, let's go. Like any sibling, the reason why we're going on this trip together is because it's a chance for Max to showcase the independence that he has now and for us to work together as a team. Nice folding, bro. Beautiful. I think he's going to smash it. I'm so excited. You know, it's not going to be easy, but it's just the right amount of challenge and he loves the stuff that we've got planned. Nice, let's do it. My sister and I are going on a boat trip for two weeks to Queenstown. <laughs> we are off to everywhere. The main part of the trip will definitely be seeing the beautiful Fenora in the South Island. On the trip, I am in charge of cleaning and music. Grace is in charge of driving. We had five things, eh? Do you remember the five things? Uh, yeah. Go on. Uh, animals, travels, food, music, douche. <laughs> douche. Basically, every time we go over a speed bump, the camper van goes douche, and we just, we like to say douche every time that happens, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go to the table. And can you go set that up? All the stuff that Maxie does around the house, all the, yeah, independence building skills that he's learned over the past few years, this is a chance for him to put those to the test, and yeah, yeah, really excited to see it. Yum! Got old Gordon Ramsay over here, eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maxi is a good <laughs> chef. I mean, when you love food that much, you're automatically going to be a good chef, I feel. Now we need some more water, eh? Come fill it up. She's a bit bossy. Cheers, sir. Yep, cheers. <laughs> what are we up to today? What are we doing? Uh, two things. Fly Fox, blue. That's us, Maxie. Straight ahead. That's where we're going, eh? Yes, 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 yes. Pretty cool. Yes. Max has got his interest just, like, clear cut, eh? And the main thing Maxie is looking forward to is definitely the luge. He won't stop chatting about it and all of those adventure-based activities um, around Queenstown as well. We're going to try test his fears a little bit, I hope. Wow, that is high up here. <laughs> Are you scared? Should we rock it? No. Ah, shake it, shake it, shake it, no, shake it. Don't shake. shake. <laughs> Makes it more fun that way. No? Yeah. Ready? No. <laughs> oh, we have a winner. <laughs> We are racing on the loose. I am faster than Grace. <laughs> the loose was fun. You're good. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's the face of a winner right there. <laughs> Check out this next thing over here. How's the height? Is it pretty high? Uh, it's too high. It's too high, do you reckon? Yeah. 
Oh, I think we'll be sweet, mate. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do a tea. Woohoo! All right, All right, shall we get going? Yes. Perfect. Come go on, on, down, guys. Down on the side. The flying fox is definitely going to test Max's fear of heights. Stand up. <laughs> I've got you. I'll grab my hand. You hold on to these. Max, you ju it's just a flying fox. Okay? Let's go. Yeah, good job. Yeah, boy. It's just flying fox. It's okay. Just step up on the seat. The flying fox was scary. It's all good. It's just a step. Very safe. It's just a step, okay? Pull yourself up. See, look. See, look. Just standing up. Yeah, nice. And one more leg over here. Just here. Yeah, up. Yeah, one more. Yes. Perfect, yes. mate. Happy day. Perfect. And you're, you're already in now, man. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Have you had a good day? Uh, yep. Yeah, I think we've had a pretty mean day, eh? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> the main thing I obviously wanted out of the trip was for mine and Max's bond to grow stronger and to see him champion new goals and, and new limits, and he 100% did. I loved having having today with you, bro. Yeah. It was it was legendary. Yes. Even though you were a bit of a scaredy cat on yeah. the yeah. on the zip line. <laughs> yes. No, you did well. <laughs> you did really well. You did really well. The trip was very special. I loved spending time with my sister. I hoped that our friendship and siblingship would be stronger. And it is. I can undoubtedly say that. It's been the perfect way to strengthen our bond, and it's been really special.